let's look at some exercises uh, regarding our understanding of uh, the normal distribution uh, successful completion of this exercise is critical to validate whether you've uh, followed the properties of a normal distribution till now moving on so assuming that uh, on the hsb2 data set that we've been working on the harvard uh, business school data uh, where we've got uh, uh, the scores of students uh, and uh, we've got sort of demographic information about these students so we've got the scores across uh, read write math science and let's say social studies over here right assuming all these scores of students follow a normal distribution we have to calculate the following using the z tables 95 percent interval around the mean for math and science scores right so we have to calculate mu plus minus uh, the appropriate uh, sigma level or the standard deviations for uh, maths and science now for that we'll have to look at the z table and figure out where does the 95 percent uh, interval lie now re please remember the z table is 0 onto z over here and i'll explain what we need to do so assuming this is the scores of the students so we've got let's say the math score this is the math score right and we've got the mean over here this is the mean right so let's draw it out and this is the normal distribution around the mean all right so we've got to find out the 95 percent interval around here the mean so this means that mu plus minus appropriate sigma so mu plus minus let's say uh, z uh, will give us the 95 percent interval so our 95 percent of all the values should range in this shaded region right so what this essentially means now going back to the properties of a normal distribution we know that uh, the, the distribution is symmetrical around the mean so if the shaded area is 95 percent if i look at only one half of this area right if i look at mu plus area this is exactly equal to this point of the area therefore the positive side will contain about 47 and a half percent of the observations right and this side will again contain 47 and a half percent of the observations right so if i add up both of these areas i get the value of 95 percent so uh, this is the lower interval and this is the upper confidence interval between which 95 percent of the values d are uh, obtained and this interval exactly will give us 47 and a half percent and this interval will also give us 47 and a half percent right so I, we need to figure out what is the length of this interval or how many standard deviations from the mean do I have to go on each side to get exactly 95 percent for this i'm going to look at the z table now please remember the z table that we have over here right follows this uh, zero onto z uh, formula so we get we don't get uh, a area around around the mean but we get from minus infinity up to a certain area so that means from up to zero we get 50 percent of the area right if i go up to one i get 84.4 if i go up to two standard deviation i get 97.8 but how many standard deviations do i need to go so that i get exactly uh, uh, 95 percent around the mean so if i look at this another way right so i'm going to look at this another way that by at what point do I get exactly 95% around the mean? Essentially, we've already figured out that on one side of the table, I need to go up to 47 and a half. So this area needs to be 47.5, right? And we know the total area on this side of the uh, mean up to minus infinity is 50%. Therefore, this particular point lies at 50 plus 47 and a half so if i look at all of this area right this particular border is going to lie at 50 plus 47.5 which essentially gives me the 97.5 or the this the standard deviation up to which 0.975 uh, is the area under the curve so if i look at this table now i go to the presentation i look at the table which gives me 97.5 so if I search over here, I see 97.26, I search over here 97.88, and I've already passed it. And here we get 97.5, sorry. Right? So at this point, 
I get 97.5 and what is this point this is 1.9 and it goes all the way till 6 so 1.96 standard deviations right so this value or this distance from mean to this point is 1.96 standard deviation right essentially so if I go from minus infinity to 1.96 standard deviations I will get 97.5 of the uh, area or if I go from mu to 1.96 I will get 47 and a half so essentially if I go mu minus 1.96 standard deviation this will also give me 47 and a half so therefore if I want to not go all the way to minus infinity I just go again 1.96 over here right and I leave out this part right then my confidence interval ranges from this area till this area right which is 47 and a half here since it goes 47 and a half here and it is symmetrical around the mean if I take the same distance on this side of the uh, the mean this area is also 47 and a half therefore mu plus minus 1.96 sigma will give me 95 percent around the mean right so I have already determined that I need to go 1.96 uh, I need to go 1.96 uh, standard deviations around the mean for math and science so let's try it out right let's pick up maths let's pick up science I want the descriptive stats for them both let's go to data analysis descriptive stats select the two of the, the two columns labels and first row summary statistics and I don't need the largest and the smallest right so there we have we've got the mean we've got the standard deviation as well so uh, so let's pick it out so the lower confidence uh, level and the upper confidence level right and we do this for maths we do this for science I'm doing this at 95 percent level right. so this is going to be lower confidence level is going to be mean for uh, maths minus 1.96 into the standard deviation and this is the standard deviation over here let's get this clear yeah so let's look at the formula yeah mean minus 1.96 standard deviation and the upper confidence level is going to be mean plus 1.96 standard deviations right same for science we're going to be mean minus 1.96 standard deviations right and it's going to be mean plus 1.96 standard deviation right so I get the 95 percent confidence intervals for both maths and science looking at the normal table all right so I hope everybody is being able to follow it now slightly more uh, uh, difficult 95 percent we have already covered is always 1.96 standard deviation what if I have to do 88 percent around the mean for social studies and read right so let's look at uh, our graph over here again let's figure out what does 88 percent actually mean right if I have to do it at 88 percent right let's draw this out again right so I have a normal distribution right I have the mean right and I have to go let's say a certain sigma standard deviation around the mean such that this total area is 88 percent right so what is the area which is greater than the mean and what is the area which is lesser than the mean within this 88 percent now since in a normal distribution left hand side is a mirror image of the right hand side they are symmetrical so both areas are in isolation 44 percent right if both are 44 percent right what is the total area from here till in minus infinity so I know till this point it's 50 percent right and I add another 44 percent here so I get exactly 94 percent right so 94 percent of the area is going to be this point up to this uh, this standard deviation from the mean right so if I go and look at the table now 
and find out where is 94% exactly. Right? So 93.7, 93.82, 93.94, 93.4, 94.06. Uh, so it is somewhere between 1.55 and 1.56. So we'll take a compromise since it's uh, 0 0.0006 lesser and this is 0 0.006 higher. Right. Let's take it at 1.55. So I'm going to set this at 1.55 standard deviations. So what this essentially tells me is that this distance is exactly 1.55 standard deviations here. Right. So if I constrict this also at 1.55 standard deviations, I'll get 44% here. I'll get 44% here. A total of 88% around the mean. Therefore, I must do mu plus minus 1.55 standard deviations. And let's do that on Excel again. So I've got the HSB data, right? And I have to do 1.55 standard deviations around social studies and read. So let's do social studies and read. Let's bring them together because Excel won't be able to do it separately. Data analysis, descriptive stats. Select social studies and read. Everything is fine. Generate it. And here we go. So I want the lower confidence level, the upper confidence level, right? It's at 88% for social studies and read, right? And the, the number of uh, standard deviations that we've already covered is 1.55 standard deviations. So let's get to it. So mu plus and minus 1.55 standard deviations. So lower confidence interval is equal to mu minus standard. So mean minus 1.55 into the standard deviation. And similarly for read, it's going to be mean minus 1.55 into the standard deviation. Right. Similarly, upper confidence level is going to be mean plus 1.55 standard deviation and similarly for read which is equal to mean plus 1.55 into the standard deviation right so i get 35.75 to 36.33 sorry 35 to 69 is the 88% confidence interval for social studies 36 to 68 is the 88 percent uh, confidence interval for read right and that's how simple it is you know uh, so let's get on to the next exercise find the value below which 95 percent of all scores in math lie right a slightly different question so this is not the interval around the mean this means find out the upper limit beyond which or below which 95% of all the observations in maths lie and using the, stand, uh, the standard uh, the normal distribution table right so the way to look at this is if I look over here it's 0 to Z right it try to find out how many so at what point right 95% of the observations lie below a certain value so I know mean median mode in a normal distribution are at the mean that means that zero standard deviations from the mean we should have exactly 50% of the observations so at this point in time, yeah, there, 50%, very difficult to get it, right? At 50% of the time, half of the observations are below the mean, half of the observations are above the mean. But I want to find it out at 95%. So if I keep going, right, at 95%, right, so I've got to find out exactly somewhere at 95%. So there it is, somewhere around here, 1.65 or something, right? So anyway, 95% of the observations, I have to find out this particular value, this particular Z value, which is the number of standard deviations ahead of the mean, and then calculate on Excel. So if I look at the table now, right, at what point do I get 95% of all the observations? So again over here, 94.95 and 95.05. So it comes out at about 1.6, between 1.64 and 1.65. So let's take 1.65. Uh, as uh, an example over here right so at uh, 1.65 standard deviations from the mean 
and we if i look at this correctly there we go so at 1.65 exactly 95% of the observations are below the mean uh, sorry 95% of the observations are not below the mean they are at 1.65 95% of all observations are uh, the percentile level right so i need to go back here let's look at it the question says for maths lie so let's go to the data set select math right mean plus 1.65 so i want to look at 95% percentile so 95 percentile for math is going to be mean plus 1.65 into the standard deviation so that's 68.10 right so at 68.10 95% of all observations lie below 68.1024 and if i look at the 95% confidence interval it was actually 71 so these two values are different from each other right what this this particular uh, uh, exercise meant was 95% of all observations lie between 34 and 71 what this means is 95% of the observations are below 68 or they lie from minus infinity to 68 so the confidence interval here is minus infinity to 68 and that is 95% here the confidence interval is 34 to 71 including the mean at the center right to two slightly different things so we do not confuse the percentile with the confidence interval around the mean right very 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 important right let's move on to another exercise find the value below which 35 percent of all scores in right lie right 35 percent of all the values in score so if i look at this data right at 95 percent is 1.65 50 percent is exactly zero standard deviations from the mean and I keep going on the left hand side you know at 35 percent I get somewhere over here you know about minus 0.4 standard deviations from the mean if I go below right that will give me the 35 percent uh, level but how do I look at it from uh, this table you know how do I get a 35 percent interval from here right so that's a little tricky so what essentially at uh, this particular exercise means that find the value below which 35 percent of all scores lie so let's uh, try to plot this out what it essentially means right again so i've got my data set and the distribution right and this is the mean right so i have to find out a value or point right such that the shaded area over here so this is 35% ie 35% of all the observations in my data set lie below this point right so how much does lie across this point then so then this whole area becomes 65% right and i know that the distribution is symmetrical around the mean therefore that mean mu we know mu is at 50% level so this value over here is 15% right this value here is at 50% uh, again right so at 15% right mu plus what distance gives me 15% around the mean right so over here if I do over here itself again applying symmetry let's say this is 15% this is again 15% right so 50 plus 15 so 50 plus 15 gives me 65 right so at this point onwards from minus infinity till this point is 65 percent of all the observations so i look up the table for 65 and let's go over here and look up the table for 65 right so 65 is not very clean but we'll make do with let's say 64.80 and then we jump on to 65.17 right let's take the half between which is 0.3 8 and 0.39 so let's take 0.385 right so essentially it's saying is that mu plus 0.385 sigma gives us plus minus 
0.385 sigma gives us a 65% interval around the mean, i.e. mu minus 0.385 sigma will give us exactly 15%. So this value will be exactly 15%, right? Therefore, anything below this level, so anything below mu minus 0.385 sigma is going to be 35% of all the observations. So what I have to actually calculate is mu minus 0.385 sigma. So let's do that. Right? So it is for right. Let's calculate these descriptive stats for right. New sheet. And sorry, I have generated this again for the same. Let me go back. Data analysis, stats, select right, press OK, and there we have right. Therefore, the 35% layer interval is going to be 0.385 sigma. So mu minus 0.385 sigma, which is equal to mean minus 0.385. 85 into the standard deviation and there we have so 49.125 so also 49.125 is the value below which 35% of all the scores lie so 35% of all scores in right are below this value 49.125 that means 65% of all observations have scored, or 65% of 65% of all uh, students have scored greater than 49.12, and 35% have scored less than 49.12. Of course, assuming all the scores on the HSB2 dataset are normally distributed, right? So this was uh, our uh, exercise on normal distributions. And uh, if there is any doubt, I would recommend that you do this or go over the video all over again, right? All of these exercises, the interpretation of the area under the curve, or uh, the way we look at the normal distribution, the properties of a normal distribution, they are very, very important. I'll again reiterate the properties of a normal distribution. Right? A distribution is normal when mean, median, mode are at the same point. A normal distribution is symmetrical around the mean. Total area is under one, and the distribution on both sides approaches zero at plus minus infinity its shape can be determined by mean and standard deviation alone i.e. 68.3 percent of observations are within one standard deviation 95.4 are within two standard deviations 99.7 are within three standard deviation if i want to look at exact areas under the curve at specific values let's say 90 95 99 or 88 or 35 or whatever that we did right we can always refer to the area under the curve table right and this area under the curve table Tells us what is the area up to Z and then beyond Z itself. For example, this tells us what is the area up to Z. Up to Z is 50%. And then beyond Z. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 standard deviations, be, you know, uh, above and below. Right? So again, it is very, very important that you understand and are able to completely follow what the normal distribution is over here.